Today at Nike and Ed's Armory, how to make a LeMay patch if you got a dead spot like I did at Nationals. Okay, so let's say you have a dead spot in your lame. Like I had a spot of a quarter size right here on my on my on my, on my forearm in the last week's summer national next year summer nationals on my savior lame had to get it patched. So what you want to do first is, is mark out where the dead spot is. Mine is about the size of a quarter, so that's about as big as it was. You want to patch it. What you need is a patch of material, right? So what we're gonna do here, note, note there are two sides of this material. There's the shiny side, that's part of the faces out, the part you want to hit when you're fencing and don't want to be hit on when you're fencing. And the back side, which is just the backing, it's not really conductive, so you need to do is take the patch, whatever side is going to be, fold it over, and sew it down over that patch. So let me do that, and I'll show you how it works. Stand by. Okay, so I've cut my piece to size, and it's a lot larger than the quarter, to make sure that's going to overlap properly. So the first thing to do is fold this in half. Actually, fold it, fold it by half. So I have, let's see, let's see here. That way, and that way, so a little bit of an overlap on it. And then just sew it down, sew the seam down. see there's a seam right there so this is sewn down right, right across right in the center here now I want to fold the edges down so it's nice and it's fitting here I'll take this end here fold it over and sew it down and then we have a patch ready to go as you can see on my original test piece here. This patch is bigger, so it'll cover it. So what you do is, you would take this patch and sew it down. So let's do that. So I'm gonna make sure this is... Down, I'm gonna put the put this, this seams face down. And this now completely covers the spot that was marked as dead. I'm just going to go around the edges. Turn it. Turn it again. Turn it again. This is the only part with the LeMay is you got to worry about getting it through this gap here because it's not meant for what we're doing here. And last. It's even more hard. It's more difficult with the saber to make. Foil made is relatively easy. Saber's pain in the butt. Okay, there's that. Last one. It. Put up. Okay, so I've got my test plate out, my ohm meter. I've got continuity. You can see the meter moving and the uh, continuity light. So here's the patch. You make sure that it is in contact, like a LeMay would be, with the test piece. Okay. So first, I'm gonna test back here, which is not where the patch is. Got connectivity. I'm gonna test the test the patch. As you can see. I've got complete continuity. So if there's a dead spot here, because it's overlapping in a good area, now I've got connection. If you don't have LeMay material, though, you can always use LiveSpot. Um, I'll put a link in the description. It's a live-spot.net. It is a conductive patch, about three, four inches square. It is sticky back. The glue in the back is conductive. You see, you 
peel, peel it off, lay it down. Then you fold it over like you do with the lamé material. Sew it right down. Uh, she don't have no problem hand sewing. You will laugh with the needle of a sewing machine. I do recommend if you were to put a cut a patch down, cut it either round or with rounded off corners so it doesn't come up. Um, it will stay on. If it's sewn down, it'll stay on during a wash. That's not a problem. I've used it to patch people's lames. Um, I think a glove once or twice, a mask, and I've actually made a tab out of it. Works really nicely. Um, and uh, it's an alternative to uh, lame material, a little cheaper, easier to store. That's all you need. And that is how you make a lame patch to fix a dead spot. Happy armoring.